This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there, it's Thursday, 29th April 2021. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail. I am Aditola Kayodin. A new policy, National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy, aimed at tackling the country's worsening poverty level, has been approved by the Federal Executive Council. The strategy put together by the Presidential Economic Advisory Council will be handled by a Presidential Steering Committee, headed by Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who will provide overall guidance for implementation. The Council also approved its incorporation into the Medium-Term National Development Plan 2021 to 2025 and the Agenda 2050. FECO also directed the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami to prepare a bill for submission to the National Assembly to make the implementation of the strategy sustainable. Barring all odds, the 2023 general elections were held on Saturday, 18th February 2023. Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mumur Yakub, who announced this at a one-day public hearing on the National Electoral Offenses Commission. He revealed that the commission hopes to release the timetable and schedule of activities for the general election after the Anambra governorship election scheduled to hold on the 6th of November 2021. Yakubu lamented the lay in the prosecution of electoral offenders as one of the most challenging tasks for the commission since its establishment. He says till date, the commission has 125 court cases with 60 convicted in six years. The Lagos State Government is set to upgrade the iconic 107-year-old Massey Children's Hospital. The pediatrics hospital established in 1914 has been overstretched over the years, which prompted the upgrading and relocation plans by the Songulu administration performing the groundbreaking ceremony. Governor Babajide Songulu at the new location in Adeniji Adelisans, the seven-story facility is part of efforts aimed at closing access and capacity gaps in the health sector and ultimately help reduce infant and mortality rate in the country. The new Massey Children's Hospital, which is expected to be completed in 24 months, will have 150 bed spaces, operate on the independent power plant, have emergency section and multi-level car park. U.S. President Joe Biden has made his first address to a joint session of Congress where he has been for over 35 years, pressing home his so far popular agenda, which includes a $2 trillion infrastructure plan and a newly unveiled $1.8 trillion plan for families, children, and students. Biden is looking to sustain economic growth with these proposals following the passage of his massive COVID relief and stimulus plan as the country recovers from the pandemic. He is also pushing for mass vaccine vaccination against COVID as demand slips slightly and cases calm down. Biden also touched on racial justice as the country contends with new instances of police violence against black people. He had called on Congress to pass police reform before the anniversary of Floyd's death at the end of the month. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Kayode. Have a fantastic day.